Hi everybody, welcome back to Sunshine Soap and Candle Company. Tonight I'm gonna to be restocking my peppermint tea tree and kale and clay shampoo bars. And I have not shown you how to make these solid shampoo bars yet, so I thought I would take you along on the process on how these are made. And I will be sharing the full recipe plus written tutorial on my Patreon campaign. This solid shampoo recipe is designed specifically for people with oily to normal hair. It's got lots of all the ingredients you do wanna see in a shampoo and none of the ingredients that you don't want in your shampoo bar. So excuse me while I go ahead and put my hair net on and my gloves and we'll be right back to make some solid shampoos. All right, let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna be doing is weighing off our BTMS 50. BTMS 50 is a conditioning emulsifier and so when you have a water and an oil blend, it acts as an emulsifier. This is a positively charged emulsifier, so it does leave your hair feeling nice and silky smooth. So we're gonna be weighing this off first, and this also lends hardness to your finished shampoo bar. And then to this, we're gonna be adding in some cetyl alcohol. Now, cetyl alcohol is a fatty alcohol, and when this is combined with your BTMS 50, it has beautiful rinse off. It rinses off your hair and doesn't leave any residue. It's just a nice, really nice thing to have in your shampoo bars. This will also lend hardness to your shampoo bar. Okay. Next, we're gonna be adding in some mango butter. And you guys have seen me in my other um, shampoo bar tutorial use Takuma butter. And that's more for like people with normal to dry hair or somebody who wants a really good conditioning shampoo bar, maybe people with color treated hair. Mango butter is considered a bit drier. So um, it does have a lot of great conditioning properties and healing properties. It's really good for the hair, um, the ends of the hair. Uh, and all of that, but it is considered more of a dry type of butter. So good for people with normal hair or maybe people who are prone to a little bit more um, oily hair. And then next we're gonna be adding in some stearic acid. And we're doing this for a couple reasons. Stearic acid is gonna help lower the pH just a little bit in the shampoo bar. It also is gonna lend hardness to the bar and it has a lot of great conditioning properties. Okay. So this is what we're gonna heat down into a liquid, but for now we're just gonna set it aside. And I might tell you too, it's super important to clean down your whole environment. Make sure you have gloves on um, if you're selling these shampoo bars and put on some sort of hairnet. I'm using a surgical cap because I can reuse it over and over again and it's pretty comfortable, but this is gonna keep my hair out of your shampoo bar. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna weigh off our water. I'm sorry, the next thing we're gonna do is weigh off some of the additives and also the some of the liquid ingredients. So I'm gonna show you how we do that next. And we're gonna be adding that 
in this beaker here. Okay, so directly to this Pyrex, we are gonna be adding in our kale and clay. And this is a great ingredient to add for people who might have or are prone to oily hair. Um, the kale and clay is a great absorber and it's a natural ingredient. And it's also gonna help anchor down those essential oils. So to the kale and clay, we're gonna be adding in some DL Panthenol. DL Panthenol is full of vitamin B, which is great for hair growth. So we're adding in our DL Panthenol. Okay. To this clay and DL Panthenol mix, I'm gonna be adding in some argon oil. Argon oil is a really, really great oil to use for the hair. Uh, it's very nourishing and it adds a lot of shine to your hair and just leaves it feeling really silky smooth. So actually, we're just going to mix this up and set it off to the side. And then we're going to weigh out that cocoa betaine into a separate container because that's what we're going to mix up um, our colorant in. And then we're going to combine it into this. So, and we're also going to be adding in other li our other liquid ingredients. So we're going to go ahead and tear that out. And then I'm adding in my cocoa betaine. Okay. To the cocoa betaine, I'm going to be adding in my tea tree essential oil and my peppermint essential oil, but I want to go ahead and get my colorant dispersed in here first. So for that, I need my tiny scale because you only need the tiniest bit of water soluble dye and I am going to be using um, apple green and the way you do this is you set the whole container on your scale and tear it out and then take a tiny spoon like this and then you just take out what you need that's how I'm weighing it because it's too hard to weigh this little tiny bit of powder so it's easier to deduct it from the container. Okay, that's all you need. So I'm gonna take my tiny whisk here and I'm just gonna whisk this up before I add in my essential oils. Okay, now I'm gonna be adding in my essential oils. Now that the um, green, this looks really dark, but when it gets dispersed into the shampoo bars, it turns to a really bright color. So I'm gonna be weighing off the essential oils Okay, now that the essential oils are in there, it's awfully full. I, I broke my bigger beaker, so I'm making do right now. And we're just gonna pour the whole thing in there and then mix everything up to combine. 
And we're just breaking up those powdery chunks from the DL Panthenol and the KL and Clay. And just making sure everything gets into a nice, smooth consistency. Okay, and an attempt to get all of this water soluble dye and other ingredients out. I'm going to pour a little bit back and give it a good stir just to kind of pick up any of those ingredients that are stuck to the glass. And then just kind of like that. And then I'll go grab a smaller spatula to scrape it out. All right, and then we're gonna set this aside. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is weigh out the um, surfactant noodles, and we're using two different types of surfactant noodles. So the first one we're gonna be weighing out is your your SCI, your sodium cocoa isothenate noodles. And these are coconut-based noodle surfactant, and they make really good bubbles in the shampoo bar. And these are the noodles that get pressed. We're gonna be using um, um, the bath bomb press from the bath bomb press. Now, it's super important when you're opening up and using your surfactant noodles to use a really good dust mask or one that's going to keep out all the air particles. I'm using an N95 mask while I have these open, so that's why my voice is going to sound a bit muffled, but it's really important that you follow this step and you don't breathe in the airborne particles. Um, they can be very irritating to the lungs. Okay, so we are just weighing out the SCI noodles. Directly into the KitchenAid mixer. Okay, and then we're also going to be Weighing out the SCS noodles, the sodium cocoa sulfate noodles. And the reason why we're using two different types of surfactants here is because we are trying to keep the pH level appropriate for a shampoo bar. So the balance of these two ingredients will leave your shampoo bar with the right pH. directly into here. Way too much. Okay. So this is gonna go directly onto the KitchenAid mixer. 
But first I wanna go ahead and warm up all of those ingredients we weighed off in the beginning of the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the microwave on short 30 second bursts until it's all melted down. And I'll bring you right back when we're ready to mix this up in the KitchenAid mixer. Okay, we're back at the KitchenAid mixer. You can see some of my noodles are green because I, I cleaned out the rest of that little beaker just on the dry noodles in there. So the first thing we're gonna do is just give the mixer, um, we're gonna turn it on low speed and just mix up the two different noodles. Okay, now to this, we're just gonna put in the liquid melted down ingredients now that they're liquid. It's, it's the BTMS 50, the mango butter, and the acetyl alcohol. We're gonna go ahead and turn that on and mix it in. I'm just gonna go ahead and scrape down the sides here. And then I'm gonna give it one more blend before we move over to press these. Okay, now that this is thoroughly mixed up, we're gonna go ahead and use the bath bomb press to press these into cute little cube shapes. All right, so I'm using this cute little cube shaped cavity mold from the bath bomb press. And I'll put a link in the description box of where you can find the press. I'm gonna show you how it works too. It's really a really awesome piece of equipment. And okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and zero out my scale and then I'm weighing out three ounces. So that's just a good size for a shampoo mold. But as you can see, these bars are a good consistency for pressing or this mix is. Okay, so that's three ounces. And then what we're gonna do is I've cut out little pieces of parchment paper that are the exact shape of the top and the bottom, and I'll show you why, because we don't want our bath, we don't want our shampoo bars to stick in the mold, so that's what I do. And then it has a little top piece, you place it on top and then you bring it over to the press. And then the press is hooked up to an air compressor and it's got two toggles. It's got one down here and it's got a switch on top. Okay, now we're ready to press. So I've got my mold sitting here and then the way you do this is you push in this little toggle here and you push this one back and it is hooked up to an air compressor. So we're gonna go like this. And then we're gonna lift it out. And if you flip it and you pull the bottom off, and then we're gonna push up on there. And then I'm gonna remove my little piece of wax paper. And we've got a perfectly pressed shampoo bar. Isn't that nice? And they smell really good. All right, so over here, I just have a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper, and that's what I use to line up all my shampoo bars. All right, I'll go ahead and press one more for you.
All right, everybody, I'm gonna go ahead and press the rest of these off camera, but that is how you make my tea tree, peppermint, and kale and clay solid shampoo bars. If you like this video, please remember to give me a like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. Catch you on the next video.